Well, hello there, and welcome to this little video. My name is Terry Cole, if you don't know me, and I'm a licensed psychotherapist, a relationship expert, and the author of Boundary Boss, the essential guide to talk true, be seen, and finally live free that you can get on BoundaryBossBook.com right now. All right, so the question I'm answering in this little video today came in from someone named Connie, and she said, I was wondering if you can tell me how I can eat crow with grace and dignity when I've made a mistake in my relationships. So I believe that means, how can I own my mistake? So this is for you and for any one of you who is having a problem with apologizing or making mistakes. Let's start with the way that you wrote this, Connie. You specifically used the phrase, eat crow, which has a negative connotation. If you're not from the US or you're not, you know, English is not your first language, you might not have that phrase where you're from, but it means like, Eating humble pie is a similar phrase. It's like you are admitting that you've done something wrong, but it's almost like there's a humiliating connotation to that phrase. So we're not going to do it that way. So we're not going to call it eating crow. If what you're asking is how can you take responsibility for making a mistake and coming back to your person and apologizing, well, that I can definitely help you with. First of all, that shift in mindset is going to be the most helpful thing is to not look at it like it's some humiliating experience because it doesn't need to be. The more we normalize admitting that we've made a mistake in our relationships, the more it's, it's mutual. A lot of times that means the other person will do the same. You can, you can even acknowledge it and say, hey, I, you know, this is new for me, but I feel like I want to acknowledge that I made this mistake. So please be gentle. You know, because if you're in a relationship that's been very blaming, in the beginning, your partner might be like lauding it over you, sort of, you know? So we can set it up so hopefully they don't do that. But my feeling is apologize early and often in any relationship because those are the relationships that have the most resiliency. And I'm not talking about doing the same thing and then apologizing as a way of getting out of it. I'm really talking about sincerely owning a mistake that you feel remorse about. Or if your partner said you did something and it hurt their feelings, talking about it and having enough self-confidence to just say that you were wrong because we're all wrong at different points. And I think that, you know, there's a very famous saying and there's lots of debate about who originated it. I heard it from Wayne Dyer the first time, but other people say that other people originated it. Do you want to be right or do you want to be loving because you can't be both? And that's the truth. When, we, when we're always trying to win in our relationship or crush the other person in some way, that's not very loving. It doesn't build a loving relationship. It builds a one-upmanship. Somebody wins and somebody loses in every interaction. And in a healthy relationship, it really isn't you against me. In a healthy relationship, it's us against the problem. So you want to create that open dialogue, which is why I always say with couples, I always suggest that you do what I've named the state of the union, right? Where you meet once a week or every other week over a meal and talk about how things are going. Address stuff that needs your attention. Share your gratitude. That's how Vic and I do it. That's how I teach it. If you've got a, a beef about something, share that as well. That's a perfect time and place to say, hey, I'm sorry, I was snippy when we were talking about that or whatever, but we need to institutionalize or normalize the experience of talking about things that are hard and owning our mistakes. So that was a long way around the barn to get to Shift your perspective on it because this is how relationships grow when we can be honest and vulnerable. And hey, if you're in an unsafe relationship, this probably wouldn't be the advice, right? So part of it is you've got to create safety within the relationship itself. But it is really good for you and for your relationships to be able to just say, hey, I was wrong because I'm such a know-it-all with Vic. I go literally go out of my way. If I'll say to him, we definitely have that. It's in this cabinet, whatever, whatever. And then if I go and see that he was right and it isn't there, I will uh, go out of my way to say, you know, baby, you were right. It wasn't in the cabinet where I said it was. We do need to pick that up or whatever. Not that I'm telling on myself, but because why not? Because I was wrong, so what? And I don't need to be right all the time. And of course I'm not. But it feels good to be able to say, oh my God, I'm sorry, I was wrong about that. There, there's a relief being able to be that vulnerable. And the other person, I expect Vic, you know, he'll be like, oh, there's no big deal. But it feels good to me to acknowledge it. So anyway, 
I hope that that was helpful. I would love to know what you guys think about the notion of eating crow, admitting your mistakes in your relationships. So tell me all about it in the comments. I hope you have an amazing week. And as always, take care of you.